Access. Trey McBride's journey to the NFL has been an impressive one. After a prolific senior season at Colorado State, he won the John Mackey Award. He then, expectedly, excelled at the Combine and at his Pro Day. So when draft day rolled around, it wasn't a matter of if, but when McBride's name would be called. Let's go! It's the moment every kid dreams of. The Arizona Cardinals select Trey McBride. Yeah! But before the elation, there was waiting. A lot of waiting. All right, let's kick off round two. And anxiety, nerves, almost overwhelming emotion. Anxious as heck, nervous more than anything, but I just kind of feel like I had this ball in my stomach. And then, finally, the phone rang. Hello? Trey. Yeah. Hey, man, Steve Kime with the Cardinals. How you doing? It's finally here. You know, this is a moment that I've been truly dreaming of my whole life. With a single phone call, Trey McBride's life is forever changed. All his life's work, the blood, sweat, and tears paying off in the ultimate way. This has been a dream of mine since I was a little kid. So uh, to finally, you know, be drafted and, and to be, you know, officially an NFL football player, this is... Uh, Man, this is so special. McBride has worked tirelessly to get to this point, but he's never been alone. As so many pro athletes will say, the dream wouldn't be possible without the endless love and support of family and friends. This is the best day of my life. I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else but them, so really wanted it to be about them. You know, they've been so supportive, so everything this, my whole career, so I'm just grateful they were here. One of the biggest influences in McBride's life who helped him get to this point on and off the field is former Bronco and fellow Fort Morgan native Joel Dreesen. The thing about Trey is he was always hungry. I, I say this to a lot of young guys. Hey, anything you need, text me, call me, holler at me. Uh, I'm here to help. I want to be a mentor to you. Um, but Trey actually did it. Joel's been such a huge role model of mine, you know. Being from Fort Morgan uh, and, and having a guy like him that, that you can look up to. I mean, everybody from Fort Morgan wanted to be like Joel. To have a guy like that in my corner and a guy that I can look up to and now is just such a great friend of mine, a guy that I can call and he'll answer my phone calls, a guy that I have lunch with, a guy that works me out. I mean, just a great friend of mine. And just to have him here was, was very special. As McBride now begins his NFL journey, he hopes to carry on the legacy that Dreesen has built. I want to be just like Joel Dreesen. And uh, I just remember how much of an impact he had on me. So, you know, now I I'm in the same situation he was in, and uh, and I want to do the same thing for Fort Morgan. As far as what that legacy is, well, it's all about paying it forward. It's our job now to send the elevator back down. We did all we could. We rode the elevator to the top. We got the most out of our bodies that we possibly could have and had an NFL career. Our job is to go help these young men. When I heard about Trey, I did everything I could to, to get in touch with him, give him my phone number, and, and be a resource for him. So... The Fort Morgan legacy is to send the elevator back down, and I know he's going to do that. And McBride won't have to wait long to come home. The Cardinals and Broncos will play this season in Denver. And I got a feeling we're going to see quite a few McBride jerseys in the stands on that Sunday. We are back in a moment. You're watching.